I'm Edie Lash and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos at the World Economic Forum. Very pleased to be joined by Kitty Perry. She's the founder and CEO of the Social Media Charter. Tell me a little bit about that. What's your thought here at Davos? So we've been looking at financial services in the UK and often the problem is firms can't do social media because of the constraints of regulation. And our belief is that if we can help them do social media compliantly, mm -hmm. customers can then communicate with their financial service provider in a more effective and efficient manner. So I've been into, it's not just banks though, right? It's all Absolutely. kinds of financial institutions. Um, and I was in a fund manager the other day where they couldn't get Twitter on their computers that were attached to the, the business, but everybody had a mobile phone. So how do you, where is that kind of disconnect? And that's the issue. The regulation is so tight mm -hmm. that the various firms have to just crack down on it because mm -hmm. their compliance teams don't know the parameters. We're helping educate the regulator so that we can form the parameters to get those firms back online. Because mm -hmm. as you say, every, every employee is likely to be engaging in social media in some form, whether it's through their child because it's Facebook and they mm -hmm. want to see what they're doing, or Twitter, or they happen to have just put something on um, another form, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. anything. So tell me what would your, when you go into a bank and you start sort of telling them, working with them on how to, how to do this compliantly, yeah. what are the things that you tell them? So we run a really thorough audit, mm -hmm. which alerts them to where the areas of risk are, whether that's employees that aren't trained and what compliance social media looks like, mm -hmm. that's frequently the problem, through to complaints not being managed. In the UK, if a complaint isn't responded to or within the end of play working day the next day it needs to mm -hmm. go to the regulator so that's another social media listening that needs to happen um, we also help them understand what their customers are really saying because social media provides a very open honest forum mm. and on the other side how do you if you were a consumer wanting to make a complaint about a bank what's the best way to get them to pay attention Sadly, I think it is social media because mm -hmm. it's a public forum and they need to address that. They mm -hmm. can't be seen not to be addressing these complaints. So whilst it might be slow now, if we're doing our job properly in the next year, you'll be getting responses back pretty shortly. So just finally, where, what do you worry about? Do you worry about some employee in a bank making a terrible mistake um, up late on Twitter? What's, what's the sort of fear that you have? It's a really good point. I think it's partly not knowing the parameters and possibly retweeting something that you don't understand how it might play out or setting up a conversation as we've seen with some of the financial firms where the listening hasn't been done about the brand previously mm -hmm. and so it's it's a disconnect from what the perception is out there and that can cause frustration with anyone that's listening out there and explode into reputationally risky conversations on social media. Kitty, thank you so much for stopping you, by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush.